Hello, and welcome to the Workforce Equity Initiative Winter Virtual Graduation Ceremony. I am Rock Valley College President, Dr. Howard Spearman, and I am so proud of the group of students that we are recognizing today. During this ceremony, we will recognize program participants who have completed their studies in dental assisting, computer numeric controls, and truck driver training. Continuing your education can be challenging. We know this. Our students juggle classes, work, and family, and they are doing all of this during a global pandemic. Personally, I am so proud of our students for your perseverance, hard work, and determination. All of you are now a part of the Golden Eagles family for life. You have completed this leg of your journey and joined the ranks of our vast network of Rock Valley College alumni. My hope for all of you is that this is not the end of your educational journey. This is simply the beginning or continuation in your quest for lifelong learning. The door at Rock Valley College will always be open to you. Please stay in touch and let us know how we can continue to support you in your educational and training endeavor. And know we will be right there cheering you on. Congratulations to all of our Workforce Equity Initiative graduates. We are so proud of all of you and wish you nothing but great things on the road ahead. Here at RVC, we are strong because our community is strong. Thank you for being a part of the community. And together, we are RVC Strong. Throughout the class, I learned, through the CNC class, I, I learned how to um, work on a, a CNC vertical mill and that that training alone will take, will take an individual through a lifetime because it's always more and more that you can learn throughout, that, um, throughout those lessons. As of now, the job that I have now at um, Rockford Ball Screw, they, they have me working on a lathe machine now. So from that standpoint, <clears throat> from that standpoint, it's helped me further my career with the knowledge that I learned throughout the class. I finally called Yolanda, my life coach. And this was three weeks before class ended. I said, Yolanda, can I cannot do this? Um, I don't think I'm good. I'm gonna be able to get my CDLs. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my dental assistant certificate. Like, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm just tired. I'm, I can't even think straight, like studying, it's just too much. And then she said, yes, you can do it. You're almost there, you're almost there. You can get your CDLs, you can get your dental assistant certificate. And so I thought about it, I said, you know what, you're right. So I ended up putting one foot in front of the other, and I, somehow I'm here. And within that week, I had my CDL license, them finally came back. And then two weeks later, I passed my dental assistant class with a B. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, I did this. We had some great people that was teaching us. We had great job readiness, great job readiness teacher, Kathy. David Butts, he's an awesome instructor. And we also had um, a couple more people that was, that was willing to that was willing to help us further our education, along with the life coaches, um, Yolanda, Sierra, Laura. They all were some great people, and I think that um, anyone would have an awesome opportunity with signing up for the classes at Rock Valley. Defined as a global peace educator and diversity specialist, the title itself speaks volume to the tremendous impact she has had on this world. Global is relating to the whole world. Peace is freedom from disturbance and tranquility. Tranquility is the state of being calm. Educator is a person who provides intellectual, moral, and social instruction. Diversity is the quality or state of being different. Specialist is a person highly skilled in a specific and restricted field. So again, I say her title itself speaks volume to the tremendous impact she has had on this world. From teaching at universities such as Chicago, Northern Illinois, and St. Francis, 
serving as a change agent for a variety of major corporations, such as Midwest Express Airlines, City Colleges of Chicago, and United Nations personnel, to name a few, directing success in roles such as the Chicago's Women's Territory Director, the Territory Young Mothers Representative, and the Ileana Region Women's Leader. While exemplifying her heritage and all she has endured, her focus has always been grounded in the education, empowerment, and equality of all humanity. Her passion and ability to motivate others to find hope, direction, and a sense of purpose is something we all should value. Without further ado, please give your warmest welcome to Dr. Akime Bailey Haney. Thank you. Hello, we are graduates. On behalf of the Illinois Community College Board, I'm very delighted to provide closing words on this auspicious occasion. Please allow me to thank those who've worked tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure your completion and success in the Workforce Equity Initiative programs. Thank you to the Rock Valley family, President Spearman, Vice President Smith and Snyder, Sarah Shumwe, Ali Beamer, Karen Kerr, Yvonne Busker, Jennifer Thompson, Dave Willis, Vicki Bruss, B. Miller, all the faculty that have taught you, and of course, we are coordinator Sierra Morris. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. We can never have enough appreciation for others. The goal of the WEA program was to ensure that you not only enter, but succeed in post-secondary education or training programs that leads to employment in a higher skill, higher wage, and in-demand occupation. Graduates, you have now completed your certifications in dental assistant, computer numeric coding, and truck driving. We are graduates, I am so proud of each and every one of you. Graduation is a great achievement under any circumstance, and yours came in the midst of a global pandemic when the world is turned upside down. I'm sure many of you have struggled and overcame all kinds of difficulties to have accomplished the completion of this program today. I can't imagine how difficult and challenging your lives must have been. I hope your family and friends can celebrate you and your achievement. Some of you may have heartbreak that never stops due to the reality of our times. Everywhere, people are anxiety driven and you can see the pain in their eyes. I've heard personally about the loss of loved ones, illnesses, homelessness, financial problems, failure on the job and in school, family discord and violence at home within our communities, no matter how desolate or fluent that community may be. Family and friends have been thrust into a vicious world of depression, unable to cope with the reality of their daily lives and all that's going on around us. I've spoken to those who found it extremely impossible to continue to have hope, finding themselves drowning in more despair and hopelessness. In a little over a week and a half, I too have lost a total of 10 family members and close friends. It's a frustrating time. I understand, and many feel less safe and secure due to the bombardment of society's ills. And as Michelle Obama has said, quote, for those of you who feel invincible, please know that your story matters, your ideas matter, your experience matters, your vision for what our world can and should be also matters. So don't ever let anyone tell you that you're too angry or that you should keep your mouth shut, unquote. Now is the time to go out into the world and find employment that will help you make not only a difference in your life, but also the lives of others, and continue to traverse that journey we call life. Please use what you've learned here at Rock Valley to begin that new chapter in your lives. Turn the page and create the scenario you want for yourselves. Visualize your victory and fight hard to be the change you wish to see in the world, in your families and within your community. Don't wait for anyone else to do it, you do it. Very profound challenges, obstacles, or difficulties may await you. But nonetheless, dare to dream. Dare to become happy. Please resolve to persevere. Have the courage to fight, and no matter what, remain hopeful. And be thankful for your struggle, because without it, you would have never stumbled across your strength. I've learned from my mentor and teacher in life, Dr. Daisaku Ikeda, educator, author, poet laureate, an international ambassador of peace, and want to leave you with these two points. Number one, hope is a decision. It's the most important decision that you can ever make. Hope changes everything starting with your own life. 
and hope is the force that will enable you to make your dream come true. Number two, hardships make us strong. Problems give birth to wisdom. Sorrows cultivate compassion. And those who suffer the most will become the happiest of the world. And some of the greatest people in the world are the ones who have suffered and endured and experienced the worst possible circumstances, but they overcame every single obstacle in their lives. You too must do the same. I look forward to hearing about your continued success, educational pursuits, and contributions to humanity. Thank you all so much, and many congratulations to all of you. Bye-bye. Alondra Juarez Arellano. McKenna Bajori. Brianna Beeks. Jayla Beeks. Raven Cherry. Tanisha Davenport. Toya Jones. Montique Laster. Daisy Medrano. Stanlin Penix. Selena Shanahan. Takia Williams. John Albright. Veronica Bear. Larice Carrion. Molly Davis. Tiffany Jones. Drake Nemec. Melissa Singleton. Vernell Starnes. Hugo Bello. Titus Bills. Cornell Bondurant. David Ellis. Darian Lockhart. Ricky Love. Joshua Shar. Alex Statchel. Scott Werner. Greetings to all the graduates and everyone else present. It is a great honor to host this ceremony. My name is Sierra Morris, and I'm the Workforce Equity Initiative Coordinator. Words cannot express how proud I truly am to witness you accomplish great success. Thank you for representing this program and the institution in such a fine matter. Thank you for embracing our staff and allowing us to be of service to you. For many of you, this is the beginning of your journey. For others, this is a fresh start to a new one. No matter the case, it's yours. Continue to take ownership and claim it. As you know, we all are living in much more difficult times. Yet, you didn't allow that to factor in the completion of your program. 
This is something I truly admire about our WE students, their will and grit to plow through whatever life throws their way. It's your work and dedication that allows us to continue to do what we do. You've pioneered this program and helped pave the way for others, hopefully for many more years to come. Please take what you've learned here and use it as a catalyst of life. Congratulations to you all on behalf of the entire WE department. Thank you.